Teacher Appreciation Day is May 8th, which means Teacher Appreciation Week is about a week away. What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you some quick and easy ways where you can appreciate the teacher in your life. Whether it's your friend who's a teacher, whether it's you have a teacher, here are ways to just show them that you love them, you care for them, and that you see them. This is definitely not about me and I'm so thankful to all of you and I already feel appreciated to those who watch my channel and comment and like and subscribe. I see every Thing and it means so much to me so thank you thank you thank you all right good morning so I am on my way to work well not yet I'm heading out but I just wanted to show you my teacher outfit and just kind of what goes into my morning routine so here's my dress and my lovely house slippers yeah so I don't need to pack lunch today because food is provided so I'm just gonna make a smoothie for breakfast and then head out the door because Borderline late. Okay, so I just started trying this flax milk because I was tired of almond milk. Um, tastes okay, but I got it from milk and eggs. Straight up got banana on my lens. Okay, finally back in the classroom and I just wanted to share with you guys some nice little tips for Teacher Appreciation Week. Number one, plants. I love plants in the classroom and so I think that your teacher would also appreciate like a succulent or some orchids. It just really brightens up the classroom and I'm actually really bad with plants and watering them. I tend to forget. So it's nice to also get some fake plants but I have been good about keeping this one alive. And succulents are nice because they don't need that much watering and it's really minimalistic and cute. School supplies. I actually had a student the other day bring me a basket full of post-it notes and I was so happy because we need post-its all the time and I do a lot of review activities with post-its but even if I received markers, pencils, I am almost out of pencils, erasers, just anything to help out the classroom, that would be so nice. And I'm sure your teacher would appreciate that too because even if they don't need it this year, they will definitely need it next year. can't believe the school year is almost over. It is like a month month and a half away. Oh man, but that's for another video. Make something for your teacher. Just fold a piece of paper, make her a card, make her a drawing, make her cookies. Honestly, I think teachers just appreciate anything from their students or from their loved ones because it just shows that you see their hard work and that you care for them. Care packages. Make your teacher a care package of some sort, whether it's for relaxation or it's for the classroom or it's just full of snacks. That's great too. I actually just got a care package from Jan's and I'm going to open it now and see what's inside. Still drinking my smoothie strong. I love getting packages in the mail and it's such a sweet surprise when you see something at your front door and you're like, I didn't order anything. And then here it is. All right. I feel like I've been unboxing a lot of stuff. Okay, did it. That's a lot of stuff. We've got some wafers. Yummy! Yum, yum, yum. Oh, I love it, love it. Milk candy, some sweet potato chips. Cookies, ooh, those are going to be great for open house. Yes, oh yay, I can actually bake now. I really like these chocolate wafers, so I think I'm gonna give all of my kids one after school. Oh, but thank you Jans because I really appreciate this. This is very, very, very sweet. So yeah, care packages are a great way to just show the teachers in your life that you think of them and that you care for them. It doesn't have to be this much stuff, but it could literally be like soap and lotion or, or a bath bomb. Yum! Now, if you are a teacher, hear me out. So there are a lot of discounts that you can get, especially during Teacher Appreciation Week. Chick-fil-A was actually doing it early and they were giving out free chicken sandwiches and I was going to go and I got in my car, I was on the way there and then I saw that it said from 3 to 5 p.m. 
and I had just gone home at 8 p.m. so I missed that train but that's okay because they have so many other freebies and especially teacher stores they have a lot of discounts a lot of clothing stores have uh, like 10% 15% off which is better than nothing so this doesn't have to do with teacher appreciation although it kind of does because I am feeling very appreciated right now because the parents came and I got a baked donut because they know that I try to eat healthy and they got me some fruit. We had parents on campus today to eat lunch with their kids and they also brought us some food as well and I honestly have the best parents ever. On top of appreciating the parents of my students, I want to also appreciate my administration and our head of school. They always give us books that we're going to read over the summer and then it's kind of like a book club among amongst our faculty and we all read the same book and then when we come back we talk about it and how we're going to use that for our next school year so last year we read a book on uh, called quiet and it was on introverted introverted students and teachers and just kind of how that works I feel like as an introvert myself it was nice to read about why I am the way I am and that students also thrive differently than extroverted students so that was a good book. This one I'm really interested in. It's called Thank You for Being Late. An Optimist Guide to Throwing to Thriving in the Age of Accelerations, which is true because right now we live in such a fast-paced society. I don't know what it's really about other than that. So we'll see. And please let me know if you have any other book suggestions and I would be more than happy to bring it up or to get it into our school library. I am getting a haircut after school, so no more of this grudge looking long hair. I actually don't like my hair that long it's it looks nice because I can wake up and not have to do anything but it's just so much work especially when I'm working out and it's whacking me in the face yeah don't don't like that if you like what you see please like and subscribe and I'll see you later